Tiger Woods is 25th Masters Tournament is not going as he would like. Tiger just finished on the course right there at Augusta National with a bogey on 18 to finish with a 74 two over par round for Woods who uh, found some trouble early on in the first nine bogeys on three, five, and seven, but then started making his way back, including birdies on the second nine, consecutive ones on 15 and 16 with a chance to get to even par. Bogey on 18 with a little bit of trouble in the bunker. We'll talk about that in just a little bit, but Tiger Woods will have to go low on Friday to be able to make the cut and get to the weekend. All right, we've got a Rick Game in here to break down Tiger Woods' round. I'm Tommy Tran. So, Rick, give me a sense of Tiger here. We'll talk about 18 in just a second, but but overall, what were your takeaways of Tiger today? It wasn't very good, Tommy. I think uh, Tiger will be the first one to tell you that from a from a physical standpoint. He looked to have that pronounced limp fairly early in the round. That's not something that we necessarily saw around Riviera a couple of months ago where it looked like he was much stronger. I think that speaks a lot to the nature of this injury. And some days you're going to wake up and it's going to feel better than others. It's probably never going to feel great. But I think some days it's it's worse than other for others for Tiger. From a, from a golf standpoint, you know, early in his round, it was very rusty. There was a lot of trouble with distance control, both on his second shots and with his putter. He had two early three putts that really kind of stymied any momentum that he was able to put together. And he did rebound just a bit. You know, the back-to-back -back birdies on, on 15 and, and 16 were great. It looked like he was going to be able to, to salvage things a little bit, which I think he did avoid disaster for the most part here, Tommy. But, you know, 18 is a, is a tough way to go out. And speaking of 18, he was unable to avoid disaster. Not only did he end up with, with a tough break that had him one leg into a bunker and one on the grass and then he goes bunker to bunker here what did you see here at the end here from tiger yeah this is worst case scenario tom you see look at him protecting that right leg immediately you know he is he is hopping on that left leg in an attempt to take all the pressure off of the uh surgically repaired multiple times over ankle and right leg from his mo from that recent car crash but it's not like the left leg is is any better right I mean that's a that's a knee and, an, and a leg he's had a ton of procedures on so it was a little bit unlucky for him to be uh stuck there where he has to put a lot of uh, a lot of energy and a lot of weight on that right leg in a very uneven lie that that's an unfortunate break and he ends up putting a a bogey on the card there to shoot a, a two over 74 it's not it's not over, right? He hasn't played himself out of this. I think anything closer to even par would have been a little bit, a little bit better. But uh, he needs to, he needs to make some more birdies on on Friday to to kind of get something going here. But this was unfortunately, Tommy. This was the, the nicest day, at least weather wise. We're probably going to get all week long. I, I would have liked to have seen Tiger take advantage of it. And we've seen some guys, including his playing partners in his group, Victor Hovland and Xander Shoffley, take advantage again. To your point. Uh, of the weather that's anticipated to get worse on Friday. So I, I think on one hand, Rick, the good news is Tiger goes early. He'll be early late. The bad news is by the time he gets out there with whatever rest <laughs> he can, the weather might not cooperate with him there. Yeah, that's right. If the forecast holds, we're kind of looking at the wind kicking up and rain coming in on, on Friday afternoon. And then Saturday, I mean, almost looks like it could be a complete wash. You see it there, just 100% chance of rain and, and a, a 30 degree drop in temperature. I think the the low key kind of secret thing here is, is Tiger would probably benefit from Saturday being completely washed out. You know, it, I don't know if they would ask them to play 36 holes on Sunday and try to complete this or just move it to a Monday finish. But if you could build a rest day in to a tournament that that helps Tiger Woods the most but but you're right Tommy this is going to be um, a, a pretty interesting next 18 holes for Tiger as he's he's going to have to play well and conditions are going to be much worse one more thing before we wrap things up here with Tiger and it's uh, applies to both the Masters and really all the majors because we know that's what matters to Tiger Woods it's something you reference a little bit rusty we know uh, ramping up to major tournaments, it's a question mark of how many PGA Tour events that he will play and that he actually needs. Now, because he knows Augusta National so well, uh, the thought is he doesn't need a, a ton of ramp up for this tournament. But, but what do you think about Tiger having to then navigate some of these major tournaments and how much he maybe should play leading up to it? 
This is the ultimate quandary that Tiger Woods is in. He has said throughout his entire career that he needs to play his way into competitive shape for major championships. Unfortunately, the state of his body does not allow him to play enough rounds, enough competitive rounds leading into major championships. He has to save all of that energy and all of that effort for those four days. So he's he's stuck here. He's stuck between a rock and a hard place. He cannot practice enough. Uh, especially to the point that he wants to. So when he gets into these major championships, he displays a lot of rust and just a lot of things that he could normally work out over the course of competition. So it's going to be a situation where he's going to have to catch lightning in a bottle, Tommy. I think he's going to have to get four good days with the the body not feeling uh, the worst it's felt and and also be able to put a little magic together if he does expect to contend at another major championship in his career. And we'll be keeping tabs on Tiger Woods in between rounds at the Masters. Sir, we're going to take a quick break. Rick, certainly appreciate it. Don't go anywhere, though. But again, uh, Tiger Woods' day is over at the Masters, a, a 74-2 over par for Tiger Woods. And, and one note here, again, in a group with Xander Shoffley and Victor Hovland. Victor Hovland, 65 today, the lowest round ever shot by a player when grouped with Tiger Woods at the Masters. Uh, that note coming from Justin Ray there. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.